Good morning everybody. Welcome back to our channel. I hope that you're all keeping well. So in today's video, we are going to visit a beautiful little place called Ferragudo. It's a real authentic Portuguese town. It's actually an old fishing village. And these days it attracts a lot more tourists. So yeah, Ferragudo is literally like a 10 minute drive from where we're staying. It's only across the river from Portimao. But first things first, we're gonna grab some breakfast before we hit the road. Okay, what's on the menu this morning, Samantha? So we're having a little mini fry. What have we got <laughs> here? Fry. Eggs. We've got some super cream sausage sausages, and Iceland. Yeah. We were in yeah. Iceland the other day. And then what are you having? I'm going for the Linda McCartney uh, red onion and rosemary sausages. We've also got, I tell you what, if you are a vegetarian, you need to get on this place. No meat company. Uh, sausage. Actually, even if you do eat meat, you should check these out. They are actually nicer than real sausages. They are I think really, they're, really they're nice. Gorgeous, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. What else? We've got eggs. We're oh, going yeah, for. I'm going to make some scrambled egg and then some lovely um, Portuguese bread. For some toast. For some toast. Is lovely. Popular bread over here. Yeah, that's the one. So, yeah. It smells great. Looks great. Looking forward to this. And you have the coffees on, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Do I have the coffees on? The best coffee, this is actually Lidl's, it's really nice, isn't it? And we do put a little bit Classical. of cinnamon in. Yeah. With it, it's really, really nice. A1, Sharon. Now, do you know what? I might be biased here, but Samantha does the best scrambled eggs in the world. I don't know what her secret is. What, what? You put, they're just so fluffy and soft. I can never, ever You just uh, have to get them look like yours. them and watch them, like, not just... <laughs> Bang them in the microwave the and just, Keep yeah. The overcooker. Yeah. Sausage on there. Mine are in the oven. Oh yeah. Looking forward to these bad boys. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's your attention to uh, detail is what I like most about your cooking. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's why they all taste so nice. Mm -hmm. The coffee is good to go. Wow. Wow, oh my <laughs> god, look at this. That is, we got some eggs, we got some toast and some watermelon. This right here is feta cheese, which we've been uh, the best thing living ever. on, haven't we, for the last? Yeah, it's amazing. We never really ate much of it before, but now we do, and a lot. Uh, you've gone for eggs as well, toast, and you've gone for sauce as well. We've got some orange juice, and the sun is shining, and... Good start to the day. Ready to dig in. <laughs> it's always a lovely smell here, isn't there, Keelan? Yeah, yeah, the smell. I don't know where, what it is, but it's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, look at this for a day. Our Algarve road trip continues. Let's go. Oh my god, it is so warm and we figured out the car actually does have AC. <laughs> I know, thank god. It does, yeah. So, get that on full blast there. Oh, heaven. And we're ready to rock. Okay, so we've arrived at Ferragudo and I'm just gonna show you something here. Okay, so this is Ferragudo right over here across the river. Uh, over here is Portimao. So that's the marina at Portimao, then you have the river. Can't think of the name of the river at the minute, but there's a river in between. So you can actually, if you've got a good arm, you can throw a stone from Portimao Marina right across into Ferragudo. It's that close. Okay, yes, welcome to Ferragudo. It's a cool little sign here just on the edge of the river. You've got the town in the background. Ferragudo, oh, Sada Vos. So, so, so <laughs> 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 hey, what does that mean? Can we look up what that yeah. means? I 
have a look at it. Cool little sign. We've got some palm trees as well. You can actually see the church as well. The church is in the distance. You can barely see it from here, yeah. but um, also, yeah. So we kind of look over into the town. You've got some boats here. Uh, a lot of them are cool kind of wooden boats and they're painted here's another there's a blue one there that's and then you got a bit more uh, modern ones up in this way but um yeah it's just a lovely yeah i was just saying that there that they're kind of real old-fashioned boats aren't they real quirky yeah and yeah fashioned and yeah they're really cool and anyway so the sign means salute you Very salute cool. you salute ah i was just saying about the uh palm trees, the lovely, aren't they? Oh, the palm trees are awesome. They just have a real uh, calming effect on you, yeah. don't they? I love anywhere that has palm trees. It's just it's absolutely gorgeous. It gives you that real holiday feeling. Yeah, you it? definitely know. You know you're on, uh, you're on holidays you when, you're, the when you see the palm trees, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we've just been walking along, I suppose, the edge of the pier, kind of. It's like the fisherman part of the town. Uh, there's a lot of boats, there's a lot of those uh, cages, those, what are they? Lobster pots, is that what they call them? The lobsters um, and crabs, I think, they yeah. call in and they can't get out there. And then uh, they have some boats and some, there's some lads out there fishing. They're actually cooking fish as well on the side of the, uh, on the side of the harbour there, and there's some restaurants as well. So it's kind of a nice and easy walk. You can only get to a certain point, then you have to turn back and come back the way that you came. So, uh, so yeah, it was pretty cool to see. We're now going to walk towards the sort of centre of Ferdigudo and walk in throughout the town. Tell you how hot it is today. <laughs> Samantha just let out a scream. She sat on the bench. Burning my bum. <laughs> so we're just walking along there now and uh, there are some lovely fresh fish cooking away on the barbecue. Oh my god, it smells so tasty. I'm actually looking forward to trying more fish today. <laughs> some people already out there behind me enjoying a drink. <laughs> what time of the day is it, Keelan? One o'clock? Yeah. Sure, why not? Hello. 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 Just on the topic of beaches as well, uh, Ferdigudo does have some lovely beaches. One of them is called Playa Granja. Is that how you say it? Playa we're trying to. We're trying to. Well, that's, that's <laughs> we're, we're trying French, to we, got, we got a bit of stick for our pronunciation of uh, certain Portuguese towns, which is fine. But uh, Playa Grande, it, which is basically big, big beach, yeah, and it has a castle on the beach as well, which is strange. Not many beaches have actual castles sitting on there. So we're gonna go, uh, I think it's like a 15th or 16th century castle, is that right? So we're gonna go and check that out as well later on in the vlog. But for now, we're just gonna walk a little bit through the sort of main uh, set or the, the center of uh, of the town here in Ferdigudo. We also have so. a gorgeous church that we're gonna go up and check out. That's high up on the hill, isn't yes. it, I think, yeah. They have a lovely church. That's another, um, one of those kind of old fashioned ones, like 14 again to the, or 15 the 16th century, century as, well? I think as well. Yeah, which yeah, is a so lot of the, the fortresses and, yeah. um, you know, old churches, churches go back, go back to, to that. Yeah, so if you're into history, I think Ferdigudo would be a good uh, place for you to visit. So we're just after coming up to like the main square area of Ferragudo. So you can see right around me, there's just loads of different restaurants and you can stop off for a drink. But this seems to be the main area where most people hang out. So we just stopped off for a quick pit stop there in this place here behind me. It's called Amigos. We got two lemonades, uh, they cost 3 50 And it's a cool little spot to stop off in. It's nice and quirky and it's just beside the river. So we're walking towards kind of the old town now of Ferdigudo and uh, it's something else, isn't it? It's really, really oh pretty. Oh my like. God, the streets are so pretty. They're just these narrow streets. It actually really reminds, reminds me of me Greece. Greece. Yeah, yeah. It does, yeah. So you have these sort of cool souvenir shops. And then you also have some quirky little um, local, restaurants. local restaurants. There's some gorgeous flowers. Yeah. They just really make it pretty, don't they? Yeah, and you know what, actually, just on the topic of flowers, and uh, Ferdigudo has what I think is the most Instagrammable spot 
of the entire Algarve. We'll, get, sure. to it. we'll get to it later. I mean, you probably will. It's kind of. I wouldn't say famous, but like if you type in, say, Algarve into Instagram, like the amount of people who get pictures at this spot. You see a lot of people even when you're walking through the streets. There's just these gorgeous flowers and they're just real picturesque. Yeah, very, very picturesque town. Very picturesque town. And uh, we're going to, we'll eventually get up to that spot that I said was the most Instagrammable spot. And we'll we'll show you Take a few pictures. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, as we were saying, Ferragudo is actually very, very small, uh, but it is built on hills, and there's a lot of steps in this town, isn't there? So, a lot of good cardio. <laughs> a lot of steps. Yeah, and thankfully it's like 28 degrees, so that's a, a big plus. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of steps, and uh, as you can see here behind me, yeah, so it's built on, on hills. So if you are coming to Ferragudo, cobbled ground cl again. Cobbled ground again, and yes. With the lovely tiles on the eggs along the wall. I know, yeah. It's lovely, it's very, very uh, picturesque place. Very pretty to walk around in. But yeah, there's just a lot of steps, so just be wide to that if you're coming to Pedagudo. on our way up to the old church now we did mention earlier on that we were going to visit it it's uh, one of the main things to visit here in Ferragudo and I can actually see it in the distance here now and it looks gorgeous so yeah we're just at the church now and um, I actually can't pronounce the name of it but I know the meaning of the church is um, Our Lady of Conception and it's a Roman Catholic church and I was wrong earlier we did say it dated back to the 16th century but this one is even older it goes back to the 15th century so yeah, it's really, really nice. And of course, then from the top, you have the views looking right over the river. Look at these houses here. Oh, they're, so nice. oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Green, white and orange. Absolutely beautiful. They're so bright. Yeah, they're so bright. Andy. And the white is so they're white. They're so clean. They're so clean, like they're freshly painted, all of them. You see the odd one that needs a paint job. But... <laughs> if there's any uh, painters out there yeah. looking to move to the Algarve, you, see you might get a few, few jobs here. Yeah. And now, so yeah. I'd say they freshen them up every year. Yeah. You'd have to with white. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, it's time to leave the church. We'll move on to the next spot. Okay, is this the famous street? You found it, the famous Instagram spot. <laughs> Look how pretty it is though. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, gorgeous, isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah. So this is like a uh, an alleyway of just of houses, but I mean the houses are all just... The arches of flowers. Yeah. It's all pretty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Again, the white houses with the, uh, the colours colors around the borders and then all the... Look at the colours here. That one's yellow and that one's sort of a different yellow. Yeah. Orange either. And you got blue. Blue. And then the flowers hanging across. Is that's the one there? Is it is it that part there that everyone gets their pictures? Yeah. Yeah. So this is probably the most Instagrammable spot in the Algarve. You can see why. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Look at the wooden shutters. That's beautiful. So much colour. So much colour. This one is a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. Like the brown tiles and then the, the blue wooden, yeah. rim around the doors. The tree climbing up. And then the wooden effects. Ah, that's lovely. And this street is literally just all the way down and all the way up here, just these kind of tiny little cute houses. They're gorgeous, they're really, really just, nice. They're all kind of on top of each other. But I think this might actually be Alvor. It does, I think it does. I thought it, does. it did, yeah. I yeah. thought it had fairly good, though. It's by far the most yeah. uh, stylish city that we've seen. It is. We walked city that we've seen there there. and it had like lemon trees in the front know, garden yeah. and just yeah. beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Again, this is kind of, like I said, similar to Santorini in Greece, isn't it? Where yeah, it's just all very Santorini. aesthetically pleasing to look at. Yeah. 
everywhere you walk around, every street. Yeah, you walk it's just how it's just bright. So picturesque. Yeah, it's it is. Just, it's lovely. Let's continue on up this way and we'll see some more of these houses and these uh, the flowers again. They're lovely the way they sort of just grow out and come across. Yeah, and they do, yeah. Now, like on this side, they're actually crossing over from house to house. And a little tiled mosaic on the on the wall there. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? That's very picturesque. I mean, look at that. Beautiful design, lovely architecture, sunny, sunny day, bright colours, palm trees, flowers, birds flying. Very good, though. it's just, it's like a little hidden paradise, isn't it? It is. And you were saying as well, like it's, we, we kind of said at the beginning of the vlog as well, didn't we, that it's starting to get more tourists now. It's not a huge hotspot at the minute, but it's certainly... It's known to be not spoiled by tourism. Yeah, yeah, that's so it, when you read like, it up, that's what it says. how close it was across the river from Portimao, which Pray to Russia is there, and it's like the biggest tourist hotspot. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people do day trips over, so they might get the water taxi over, just to sort of walk around and yeah. get the little Portuguese feel yeah, yeah. from the town. So it's not yeah. really... It's not a hot spot just yet, yeah, but... It's a good place to come to for like a two-week holiday. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely worth a visit. To come and see okay so now we are on our way to the beach uh Gudo has a few beaches doesn't it but the main one is uh praia grande which is portuguese for big beach so we're on our way now to check it out uh, like i said earlier in the vlog there is a castle that's kind of plonked in the middle of it so that's kind of interesting you don't normally see a castle at a beach but no, uh, all, no. uh, we're gonna go up and check that out as well and also check out the beach as well so uh, yeah looking forward to it it is a scorcher so i imagine the beach will be quite busy okay so this is the castle this is the entrance of the castle and it's the ca it, the entrance is off the beach but yeah, it sits on the beach. That, I know yeah. it sits on the beach, but I didn't realise the entrance was actually off it. That's the entrance there. No, so. I did read up. You can't actually go in. It's not open to the public. I think it's owned by the state is what I read up, but it's actually not open to the public. Right, okay. Yeah. It was, was it not owned by an artist or something? It was owned by, I read up that, um, oh, hello. hello. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> Dogs everywhere. They're the best. <laughs> so, yeah, it was. Um, I read up that um, it was owned by an artist or uh, no a poet bought it in an auction okay and he owned it for obviously a while yeah and he used to use it as a summer residence i think really and then um jesus yeah but it's owned by the state now so it's obviously not open to the public oh okay so i'd say it'd be pretty cool to see on the yeah the beach side it's called oh god here we go castello de Jao de Arad, which is obviously the name of the river Arad. Arada. Yes. Is that the name of the river? Cool, yeah. Build atop a rock between Praia Granja and all oh, the castle. Probably served as a lookout point and a defensive structure. Against ah, pirates, okay. I read. Against pirates. <laughs> and it goes back to the 15th century as well. Yeah, and then I see it sold and sold at public auction in okay. 1896. Okay. So I think that was to the poet then. Yeah, and then it's been a classified building since 1974. So, okay, right, so they built it for a defense from... Originally, yeah. From pirates? That's it, and then, um, like that, it was left, and then it was... Uh, yeah, the, you're right there, look, it says it, Gigi did your homework. The poet, Coelho de Carvalho, converted it into a dwelling at this time, so yeah. But we can't get in. We can't get in. Right, okay, well, that's unfortunate, but still, it'll be interesting okay, to see when we got down yeah, the beach. Yeah, for sure. That's the entrance of it anyway, so nice big gates, no messing there. And there is the name. Lovely. Right, beach time. Oh, lovely. Oh, 
That's a beaver. Rowing a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go, there's your, there's your beach art. God, look at this walkway down and the stairs down to the boardwalk onto the beach. Oh my God, it's beautiful, isn't it? The boardwalk actually sits in the middle of this beach, where usually you have them. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. The it's edge, the first thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, lovely. Oh, and it goes. It's big enough, isn't it? Hence the name. So this is yes. The sand in the Algarve is just so golden. It is, isn't it? Yeah, on all the beaches. Beach bar. <laughs> Open. <laughs> it looks like there's a little beach bar down here. Oh, there is, yeah, on the right hand side. Yeah. See, I don't know, when we see some of the beach bars closed, I don't know if it's just to do with that it's not so busy yet, so they're waiting for more tour yeah, tourists or if to it's come. COVID. Or if they just didn't survive COVID. Like. Yeah, no. It's hard to know. This one looks nice, though. This one looks nice and lively. And nice and lively, yeah. Yeah, it does. People. Which is always nice to see. Every single one of these people are living the life. <laughs> are they? They are. And so they should be. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? That it's just sitting on the, the beach. Like, yeah, what a perfect spot for it. Yeah. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I think you can't get in, but we visited a few cattle on our Balkan trip. Yeah, none of them are on the beach, though. No. We can't walk around it. No, I think you can walk around it if you're, in, if if you're yeah. bare feet. Yeah. Ah, okay. This is the walls of it. This is mental, isn't it? Isn't it mad? That's mad. He just sits there, so... This is... Oh, look at the human. They have the right idea. <laughs> that's, that's what we have to do. Is man the right... Hop on. So we made it over to the other side of the castle. There it is behind me. And I don't know, I think this beach is called something else. Um, I can't remember the name, but I did read up that Praia Grande is on one side of the castle and then there's another beach on the other side, which I think this is the one that we're on now. Again, I can't remember the name of it though. But um, yeah, it's a gorgeous beach and I'm in. You have the view of the boats going by and then there's the marina just across the way. So yeah, it's really, really beautiful. So we're just back in the car now and we're finished um, our time at the beach. The beach was absolutely gorgeous. Um, the beach itself actually sits on the waters of the estuary. So it was lovely and calm and just a really, really nice beach. I have to say, we'll probably take a trip back up and again, spend the day there. We say that about all the beaches. <laughs> we love them, they're all so nice. But for now, anyway, we are on our way to um, the pier to walk out to the lighthouse. So we've arrived here at the lighthouse. This is a hair behind me. And I actually think we've arrived just in time for sunset. me because it is quite windy up here hopefully you can but uh, yeah so this coast is like I said is Ferragudo and it's Lagoa and that runs all the way up to a place called Caraviero which is another unbelievable spot I mean we've checked that out on the internet and we will definitely go up there and 
and uh, and shoot a video up there as well. There's some incredible beaches up there. Oh as well. my god! So, wow. um, yeah, and then in this direction down here is Portimao, which is where obviously where we live, and then after that Alvar and Lagos, which is where the last two videos uh, on our channel had come from. So we're kind of going east and west, east and west, or whatever. But today, very good. Oh, it's just been breathtaking. Like I mean, it's by far. I think it's the prettiest city it, that we've been to. One hundred percent. I mean, the houses are just. They're adorable. Yeah, the houses yeah, are just so gorgeous yeah, and pristine. You know, it's yes. just a pristine town. Perfect. And it's like um, when we were in Santorini, it, it it just reminded me of Santorini so yeah. much. The little alleyways, the little stairs, in which you can kind of go from place to place, and so much white, so much bright colours, blue, all the flowers and stuff. It was very Santorini esque. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'd recommend if, if you were staying near here in the Algarve um, to definitely take a day trip over. Ah yeah, Walk for sure. Around yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's just so to be fair, like just to kind of give a balanced kind of thing, I don't think I'd I'd stay there if I was coming to the Algarve. Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah. think I'd like uh, now you, if you had a car I suppose it's easy access to other places but look I don't think I would stay there it's nice yeah. to stay somewhere else and go visit very yeah, good that's their opinion some people that, yeah. might love to come and yeah, stay here stay, you know a couple you know. there type but 100% if you were staying nearby consider coming to very good yeah, over yeah, the day sure, because it's yeah. definitely the most prettiest town we've that seen, we've in the seen Algarve, so yeah. far yeah, yeah. for sure yeah so we have finally stopped off for some dinner now. We're so hungry. We haven't eaten since breakfast this morning. <laughs> it's been well, a long day. Oh, all day, yeah. So um, there wasn't actually much choice in restaurants. Um, a lot of people stopped serving food, I think, at a certain time. I don't it's, know. It's what, nine o'clock at night now, so yeah. yeah. So we stopped off in this lovely place that do, they do tapas and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm after ordering a red chicken curry. So I can't wait for that. And you ordered it. I went for a burger, vegetarian burger with chips. Yeah. So not very really Portuguese, but it's yeah. late in the day. So it's late in the day. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. So. Yeah, so that'll do. <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All the best. Good luck. Bye bye. Okay, so we are back in the apartment. We just had dinner there. It was lovely. It was a really nice restaurant. They did all sorts of food. They did Thai, they did Indian, they did traditional Portuguese food. Uh, we went for veggie burger and chips. Amanda had the, the Thai curry. And we had two beers as well. And it came to 25 quid. So quite reasonable, I thought. And uh, what made it was the two lads that worked there they were dead sound they even subscribed to the channel they were asking us about you know with the camera gear and everything like that and uh, yeah they were bang on they said look we we'll subscribe to your channel and they did so thank you very much for that oh that was a fun day oh my god Wasn't it? it was a great day cheers thank you though. cheers so yeah as we said earlier on if you are coming to the algarve definitely keep a day to go and visit fair yeah, what a beautiful place it's gorgeous but for now, we're going to close the vlog out here. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one.